Thank you for listening to the 39th Street Church of Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is Warning, Dangerous Winds by Jack Williams. My wife and I were out on the pontoon. We were having a nice, peaceful evening, just relaxing, and all of a sudden, here come a wind. The wind blew and thunder was around. We headed in towards the dock, and lo and behold, something happened to the motor. And I couldn't give it but about maybe a a third of the throttle. And I was struggling because the wind was blowing, and I was having to, to steer into the wind, and I was still being blown over to the shore most of the time. And I tell you, it was really something. My wife got up, grabbed her life jacket, put it on, and began talking about sinking, and I didn't want that. But you know, we made it. I'm an expert sailor after all. But uh, spiritually, we're warned about those dangers, and they're very real. Much more dangerous than what my wife and I went through at that time. In the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, there the Spiritual gifts were still in existence, and they were given in order to confirm, to hold, and to strengthen the Christian, and to give them the necessary word, so that they be not tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine and slight and cunningness of men who lie in wait to deceive. You see, the the devil and his efforts are really compared to that wind that we so often see. We see it as we walk along, you've been pushed to the side. You see it in an automobile, you see it in a boat, and it's a fearful thing what wind can do. And so God tells us, I've given you something to help you stand. The miraculous gifts in the first century. In the book of Hebrews, the the fifth chapter, we find where God warns through the apostle Paul, well, God wrote, through the Apostle Paul, I believe, but we find that there was a warning given that whenever the time you ought to be teachers, you have need of somebody teach you again. You see, Peter talks about the fact that we're to receive with meekness the engrafted word that we may grow thereby. Sometimes our lives are like that motor I had on the pontoon just not able to get up to full throttle where it should be. And it makes life so much harder and at times can make it deadly. The devil is after us, 1 Peter 5 and verse 8, and it's like the wind warnings that come up, but our whole life is a wind warning because he never stops looking for us, never stops coming after us. So, you know, I I think about, I've had several people lately tell me about They appreciate the daily devotionals and other things that we do here at 39th Street. But all of these are designed to help us to stay strong because our life is filled with wind warnings, danger, high winds, crosswinds, dangerous storms. But God has said, I've given you the ability to stand that you not be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine and slight and cunningness of men that lay in wait to deceive, that you can be a teacher instead of one who just constantly needs the first principles again. So today, you're listening to the devotional, take time to study. Take time to, as the psalmist said, meditate on that word. You see, you're building up strength to stand against the wind that comes against us as Satan tries to destroy us. But always remember, you know, one of the things, I was on that pontoon with my wife, and we got a little closer, came around the the point there, and I saw the lights on the dock ahead, and I knew there was peace before me. The winds were boisterous. But there was a home I was heading to. Our lives that same way. I hold fast to God's word here. I put on the armor of God and I stand against the devil. But I face the storms just like you do because as the Apostle Paul said, 
forgetting the things that are behind, I press on towards the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I have that hope. The Hebrew writer said in chapter 6 and verse 19, it's an anchor. I hold fast to that and I keep drawing in and holding steady. I pray that each of us realizes, number one, the danger of the winds, but then the ability God's given us to stand against them. Let's do it. We can through his word. Thank you for listening. You have a good day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.